see if it'll work now. Okay. Oh, I'm recording. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, I'm doing a February favorites, and I don't really remember the last time I did a favorites, but I got a lot of new products since January, and I just really love a lot of them. So, I am going to start with skincare. And firstly, oh, the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Balm, which I've wanted for so long, ever since I first, I think Zoella was the first person I heard about it from. And you all know it, it's just this balm cleanser. And I've only used one other balm cleanser before from Boots Botanics. And that one, sorry the lid's a little fiddly, um, that one is a lot harder than this and a little harder to use and it kind of leaves a residue on your skin and I thought all balms were supposed to do that but no this is amazing it doesn't leave anything like no residue or anything and it's really moisturizing it's very it's just really nice to use it feels really nice to use it's not just a skincare product that you're using just for the hell of it like I feel like you it feels like it's good for your skin and it just feels good on the skin and it's just almost like a treatment. Like, it's it's just a little treat. This is definitely a treat of a face product, and I love it. This is the trial size that came with a makeup bag or a cosmetics bag um, and a muslin cloth. Also, I've been using the crappiest muslin cloth for the longest time, and I didn't know any better until I got the Emma Hardy one. It's so nice to use. Amazing. Next up are all products from Origins. Um, the first one is a mask, and this is the Origins Drink Up Intensive Mask, which I'm sure you've also heard about. These are pretty much all products that I've, that have been recommended by other, not other beauty bloggers, but by beauty bloggers. And so you've probably heard of them, but here's my take on them, which is probably going to be the same as everyone else's. But this is just great. It's a leave-in mask. You can leave it on overnight, or you can wash it off. I uh, specifically use it overnight. Uh, I just use it as a moisturizer and my face just feels so soft and hydrated in the morning so I love this. What I love even more than that though is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. This stuff is amazing. It brings, I feel like it brings out all the crap from your skin and then it just kind of heals over time. And Next up is this tiny, tiny bottle of Origins uh, Super Spot Remover. And I've gotten through, let's see if it'll autofocus. Um, I've gotten through a little, quite a little bit of this, but I feel like it genuinely does make the spot heal faster. In my, for me specifically, it doesn't, um, it doesn't, like the spot's not gone by the next day, but it definitely makes it heal faster and it won't. The ones that have healed from this haven't left any scars, which is good for me because I have a ton of scar acne scarring. So, I've been loving that, and I think that's all for skincare. Next up, let's see. I have two makeup brushes, and they're both by Real Techniques. I have the number 100, which is the powder brush, and I use it for powder and for doing my contouring. Um, it's really fluffy, but it's kind of, um, is a little more dense, so I can do a little bit of buffing with it. So I like that uh, a lot. <laughs> and they're so soft. They're, and they're just so luxurious looking. Like, look at them. Gorgeous. I have a rose gold one as well, which is the, I don't remember what number it is, but I use it for highlighter. and. It's quite good. It's not, you know, my favorite, but I like it. Um, I want to add more to my collection of these. And this is the Real Techniques 200 Bold Metals. Uh, I didn't say this already, but these are from the Bold Metals line, which I'm sure you know. And sorry, they're dirty, but I, it's because I use them. Um, this is the 200, and it's, I think it's the large dome. I don't know what it's called, but I use it for all over the lid and for blending out. Um, it's just really good for both because you can kind of pack it on, pack on the shadow or whatever you're using, and then kind of turn it on its side and buff out, which is what I do anyway. So I've been liking those. Alright, so I have a lot of makeup products, 
Okay, so I'll start with the face basey type products. I have here the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I've been lusting after this for so long because as I said, I have a lot of scarring and not too many uh, concealers from the drugstore do the job. And I needed something that was full coverage but not super heavy. So I gave this a go and it's great. On days that I don't feel like wearing, just dropped it. On days that I don't feel like wearing a ton of foundation or foundation at all, I'll just pop on some of this concealer just in the spots that I need it, particularly um, kind of in my contour line, oddly enough. And, um, and then I'll put the Maybelline and the Fit Me concealer kind of just over my redness and I'm good to go. It looks like I have perfect skin. So I've been loving this. I have the color, what color are you? I think number 10, I think. There's a 10 on the back, so I'm assuming it's number 10, and it's waterproof, and it's just really, really good. Next, I have, oh, Naked. It is the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette, one of them, and I have the color uh, Streak, and that's what it looks like. Let's see if you'll focus. Does it look like it's focusing, guys? I don't know. But it's got a, oh, flashy got a nice bronzer uh, it's a matte bronzer so I use it for contouring I like this because it's not like yellow it's a little bit gray toned this is a highlight and a blusher it's kind of like a corally color I do love the highlighter it's a little chunky but I like it it's on my cheeks now it's ooh, very intense in the camera so I've been loving that I've got it for Christmas in December and I've been using it every day since really on to let's do eyes mm -hmm. eyes and eyelashes and eyebrows I have the Anastasia dip brow pomade in medium brown and I've just been using it on my brows every day since Christmas pretty much so yeah what I like about it is it's dark enough that I can kind of add a longer part to my eyebrows because they pretty much end like right here and it just looks a little short so I've been loving this to elongate my eyebrows and the next three products I just love these products in general but these are the colors that I have I have the Rimmel Scandalize uh, what are these called eyeshadow paints in the colors this one is where is it this one is golden bronze this one is peachy apricot these look very similar but you can, you can kind of tell the difference and my personal favorite rich russet this is the one that everyone loves and the one I get the most compliments on when I'm at work so I've been loving these I thought these were discontinued but I found them at my store for like a dollar 19 so I was very excited to finally get my hands on these they are super long lasting um, most things last pretty long on my lids anyway, but these are just amazing. They don't lose their pigment at all. So they go on very wet. You have a little time to blend out the edges. Um, what I do is I blend out the edges and then add a tiny bit more to the center just for a little bit of shimmer. And yeah, that's what I have on my eyes today. I have golden, what was it? Golden beige? Golden bronze. So I don't know if you can tell, but yeah. And I have a little bit of brown from a palette of mine through the crease. And last but not least, my absolute fave, Be Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Mascara? I watch too many British YouTubers. It's becoming a habit saying mascara. So there it is. And gorgeous packaging. The brush head is huge. Um, the, the wand is like weighted, so it's kind of like nice to hold. Also, what I forgot to mention is the Bold Metals brushes are weighted as well, so they kind of like balance in your hand a little bit, like, you know, I don't think you can even tell what I'm doing, but yeah, so the brush head is massive, and it's just got a curve to it, and it just fits into the lashes beautifully. Like, for someone who has no lashes, I have pretty good lashes right now. So, been loving that. And on to lips. Oh, wait, no. I've got one more thing. 
This is the Milani Bella Eyes Gel Powder Eyeshadow in Bella Cafe number four. Let me open it dip. And I've just been loving this as a transition color um, through the crease. And well, not that I have a crease, but you know, through the crease area. It's just a beautiful color for, for my skin tone to blend out. And it's fairly neutral. And I love it. Now on to lips. Oh wait, no. Another eye item. I have a mini Kat Von D, uh, what is it, tattoo liner? And it has one of those, um, bouncy lids that, that, um, ooh, that Lily Pebbles is always talking about. And it's got the nice little standard Kat Von D design on it. And for some reason, it won't autofocus. Sorry, guys. Uh, I've messed with the settings already. It's not changing. So you're not going to get any close up. Sorry. Oh, is it closed all the way? Yes. But I just love it. Again, I used this for my eyeliner today. And it's just really easy to use. Um, what I do is I kind of go on its edge and then pull along. I don't do the wing like that though. I kind of, you know, use a pointed edge. But I just really like it. Very long lasting. I notice it, sm like, it smudges on me, but everything smudges on me. Everything ends up on my bottom lash line, uh, but this one does it a lot less than others, so I've been liking that a lot, and all right, so let's start with the drugstore lip items. Here I have the new Ulta brand um, matte lip creams, and they are awesome. They do take quite a while to set. This one is the shade Spirited. Put that on the back of my hand. Um, these take quite a long time to set, but once they do set, they do not budge for the most part. They're very long lasting. Um, this one's in the color Elusive. So I'll do that one. Another thing about these is they don't necessarily layer up that well, so when you're putting them on, you do kind of have to have a certain technique to them. But that's what they look like, and they're gorgeous. I love these a lot. So they do dry down matte, but it takes a while. Maybe like two or three minutes. It's quite a long time, but it's worth it. Next, I have the Rimmel Provocalypse. These are incredible. Absolutely incredible. I know a couple people don't like that they take a lot of effort to take off. I use a makeup wipe and kind of just rub at my lips, which yeah, it's a little bit of a hassle, but I think it's worth it for the product. These dry down really quickly and it leaves like a tacky feeling on your lips, but the cream that is on the other side, which uh, you're not going to be able to see it, it's just a clear little balm and it makes it so, it completely takes away the tackiness. So. The discomfort ends quickly, but they're very liquidy, if you can tell. So they're very wet and glossy and liquidy. And then they dry down and they don't move. I had a 8 hour shift a couple weeks ago. And I applied one layer of this color. Um, 550 Play With Fire. I applied one layer of it. It was on the entire day. If you don't believe me, watch one of my vlogs. It's in there somewhere. Also, the other color I have, which is more, it's like a brick, a brick ready nude. And it's 750 Heartbreaker. And so, there they are. Those are the drugstore options. Well, this is technically drugstore as well, but I had to get it imported because I don't live in the UK. It's my very first Tanya Burr lip gloss. Such cute packaging. Adorbs. This is Aphrodite. And I like this on days where I don't feel like wearing a ton of makeup. Say if I'm only going to be working. Um, not around customers. So this is just kind of a, an orangey. It's like a, a neon coral color. You see that? I think it's really pretty. It's just a nice wash of color. And these are sort of high end. This product is from Sephora, but it is their brand, so it's not, you know, going to break the bank. This is the Sephora lip cream lip stain. Um, and it goes on very much like the NYX matte lip creams. 
it's this one right here um, and this one also dries down and doesn't budge either uh, neither of them are drying this one I can tell you is a lot more comfortable and it's a lot easier to get off but it kind of has the same amount of wear time so I've been loving the long wear stuff as many people have speaking of long wear we're almost done guys I know this is the NARS oh, NARS matte lip pencil in Cruella which I treated myself to not long ago um, it's just a beautiful, in my opinion, classic. Well, it's not really classic. It's more of like a dark brick red. Looks more red on my lips, but yeah. That's that. Uh, so many swatches. So this just is fairly long lasting. It does come off like if I drink or if I eat food especially, but it is pretty long wearing if you're just say working or talking or something. If you're going to dinner, I don't think this would work. Uh, I would more recommend these or that. And lastly, I didn't treat this. I didn't treat myself to this. Uh, my mom got it for me for Christmas. It is a YSL Rouge Volupte Shine lipstick, and it's gorgeous. The packaging is gorgeous. It smells amazing, and I have the color. It's like a a sheer purpley berry color. Oh, I don't remember what it's called. This is number two, but I don't know what the name of it is because they only put the name of it on the packaging, which I still have, so I'll link it down below once I find out what it is. And to get a, depending on how much pigment you want, you might have to apply a few layers. Um, and it's this one here, but it becomes pretty opaque. If you want it a little lighter, you can but I prefer a little bit more color. And it's very glossy, very, very balmy and moisturizing, so I love this. Again, like the Tanya Brill lip gloss on days where I don't feel like wearing a ton of stuff, and I'm just kind of going for a lighter look. And I think that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed my favorite, but I don't really film sit downy videos often, but I will probably see you in my vlog, in my vlog, in my vlogs uh, soon if I can ever get them up onto my channel. <laughs> Trust me, I have a ton of footage from like the past two, three weeks that I just haven't sorted through and put together. So I will work on that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you soon. Bye.